<sighs> Just listen to the nature. Hello, dwellers, and welcome to my animal sanctuary. My name is Caveman Films, and I've got a question for you. When you think about animals in Minecraft, what do you think of? Ah, uh, yes, you probably want to talk about the pigs, the sheep, and the cows. But guess what? There's more animals than that, guys. Well, at least if you use the Animals Plus mod. So, I've started taking a liking to being a zoologist, and so I've set up my own animal research institution that's probably going to make PETA really, really angry because I, I have to be honest with you, I haven't fed any of them. Except I've, I fed them, but that's only because it was by accident. I put I put the regular fish where the shark is, and the shark ate the fish. So at least that shark got fed. Everything else kind of died. So we had to we had to move the fish to this little container over here I dug in the ground. But anyway, welcome to Caveman's Animal Sanctuary, where we're going to be showcasing the Animals Plus mod, which, if you can't tell, adds a lot of very loud animals to the game. But honestly, these are really nice animal calls. Like, they sound really realistic, and it's awesome. But we've got insects, we've got birds, we've got mammals and other things that I have to pull out one at a time because they're kind of hard to go over normally. But, uh, and then we got the fish. And I think we even have a little buddy that was supposed to be over here, but he's he's gone. He's gone. It's okay. We'll, we'll leave him for last because he's honestly the funniest one. But anyway, let's get started. So this mod adds, I would say, about 15 new mobs to the game. There might be a few more. There might be a few less. I didn't take the time to count them all one by one, but there is definitely more than 10. So, the best part is, is that even if you spawn them, they have, like, lots of different colorations. So look at all the pretty birds. We've got cardinals. We've got blue jays. We've got... I don't know, it's green, but it has a yellow butt. That's kind of cool. And then we got this blackish bird, and there's a brown bird. And these all just came from the spawn bird egg. Did I, did I say bird? I want to say bird, but I said bird. Also, look, there's a there's an insect for those of you who like insects, because that's a cricket. <laughs> anyway, let's spawn a few birds. Look at that, there's a green bird, brown bird, green bird, red bird, green bird. Yeah, so they're they're pretty cute and then you can kind of murder them and they they drop um they drop food if we can break the stupid glass and kill come here and die everything is rushing to their death did I say food I meant to say they drop feathers <laughs> oh my goodness but I mean they all rushed at me I, I was defending myself Peter please don't sue me please don't sue me Peter but over here is our insect research room which is full of the creepy crawlies that you might think. So there's also a lizard for some reason. He kind of just snuck in here. But we've got beautiful butterflies. We've got a mouse. Oh, maybe the lizard was checking the, you know, kill the mouse. Doesn't seem like it's trying to attack it, though. Uh, there's a millipede or a centipede. I think it's a centipede. Yeah, it's a centipede. And we've got the cricket. That's a grass. Give me the cricket. There's the cricket. Look at the cricket. Let's make all the crickets in the world. Cricket party! Yeah! So these are just insects. Now, most of these mobs are completely and totally passive. They will not attack you, and they're just there to kind of exist. You can kill them if you want. They don't drop anything new. There's no new items added to the game. Um, they just kind of are there for, like, a cosmetic purpose, and they're just really fun to have animals in your Minecraft world and bring it alive. I want to break these stupid things so I can kill this lizard and see if he drops anything. Come on, grass! Come here, there we go. Come here and die. Everything die. Everything die. Oh, <laughs> this is this is this is how animal research happens in caveman's land. It's okay, they're fake. So in this chest was actually nothing because I moved them. I moved them, and I forgot to actually stop moving them. But in here is our animal research room, which I've been technically researching these animals anyway by murdering them after spawning them. But this this is where all the other murderification is going to happen. So. Yeah, we're going to save this room for last. Over here is our little fish pond, and it seems a few fish actually uh, beached themselves and are dying. So these are just regular fish. They're not aggressive. They just kind of swim around, and if you kill them, they'll drop fish because that's what they are. They drop themselves. That's kind of weird, but it's okay because they're fish, and this one is a Magikarp. 
now it's dead. <laughs> so over here is our aggressive aquatics. And in here are all our nice big fish. And I'm going to give you a demonstration on what happened that very nice night before where we fed the shark by accident. So let's spawn some fish. Let's spawn a few fish. Oh, oh, the piranha killed it. Uh, let's spawn some more fish. The shark's eating a few of them. So let's go down here. So what do we have? We have some dastardly piranhas. They, they look pretty cool, actually. They kind of remind me of the Pokemon Carvana, which is ironic because that is, in fact, based off of a piranha. Let's just spawn lots of fish in here and let them murder them. But, yeah, they're aggressive. They will attack us if I was not in creative mode. And I'm going to get this grass out of my inventory because it was distracting me. But so is this shark. This shark is very aggressive. He's He's got aggro. He's, he's aggressive. Then we got a manta ray. He's actually not. He's just kind of, you know, also a shark. So I put him with the shark. Did you guys know that? That rays are actually technically a kind of shark biologically? Yeah, isn't that cool? I just I just taught you something. Let's jump out of the water. But yeah, so they're kind of aggressive. And then over here we have the tropical fish. And they're they're just colorful. And they're just like the regular fish. And if you kill them, they even drop fish, I think. So let's kill a few. Drop some fish. Oh, they drop clownfish, if I'm recalling correctly. Come on, come on, drop some clownfish. There we go. Yeah, we got some clownfish. I was right. Beautiful. So, now that we've kind of murdered everything, except everything in there, now, you know what? Just to prove the precedent, we're going to kill everything in here, too. <laughs> I I feel so bad, but die, shark. Sharks are really strong, obviously. They're predators. Piranhas kind of are weak. They do fast damage. And then there's an anglerfish, too, which I didn't even notice was in here. Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, you died. And he actually dropped... Some glowstone dust. Isn't that kind of weird? I get it, because he's an, he's an anglerfish, so he glows. <laughs> well, yeah, we killed everything in here. We killed most of the fish in there. Now it's time for us to finish the animal research by going in here and kind of voiding my inventory of random things. Yeah, look at this. This is, this is a bad, like... This is an animal lover's nightmare of an episode. <laughs> oh my goodness. So in here is some more spawn eggs. So those are all the bugs. I'm not going to spawn them. But we also have the snake. We have the mouse again. We'll spawn the lizard. We've got ducks and penguins. And these are going to be almost our final monsters and animals that we're going to spawn. Technically they're monsters because this is a game and everything's a monster in a game. But here's a snake. Look at him. Snacky snack. He's like, he's like hissing at me. His tongue's going blah. And if I game mode myself, I think he might be aggro. Yep. Oh, oh, and he poisons. Oh, you are mean. You are mean. Come here. Die. 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 Ooh. Oh, game mode one. Woo. I told you. He's tough. He's a tough little bugger. He does a lot of damage, too. I mean, phew. wow. So that's a snake. Then there's a mouse. I think the snake might eat the mouse. Yep. Snake kills mice. Look at this. If you have a mouse problem, just put a snake in. And look at that. It's a freaking... Oh, my God. Red against black. Poison, Jack. Wait, no, actually, red against yellow. Kill a fellow. Red against black. Poison, lag. So this thing's supposed to be non-poisonous. This is supposed to be a king snake. This is a king snake. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a coral snake. Those are the ones that are deadly poisonous. And murder rats like this. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. There's lots of different skins for the different kinds of varieties of animals which is always a nice touch we got lizards lizards look the same they're not aggressive they're just lizards they're just lizards <laughs> and then we've got penguins look at the penguins wow you're a lot more annoying than i thought you would be come here you kill them and they drop fish because penguins eat fish it's kind of sad, though. Don't kill penguins. Penguins are too cute to do that, even if they do make annoying noises. Lastly, we've got the duck. They're basically chickens, but ducks. Look how cute you are. Quack. 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 They even drop chicken because <laughs> they're just a reskin chicken. But they quack, and that's cute. So, are you guys ready for the final guy? The final guy. Oh, my goodness. You guys are not even ready for this because this guy is this guy is just laughably huge. Are you guys ready? Go over here. We're going to spawn ourselves one of these. Whale! 
Look how freaking huge this guy is. I mean, seriously. And he's like making... Ugh. So these whales, they're obviously passive. They're whales. But you can kill them. And they drop a crap ton of fish! Look at that! It just dropped... Oh my goodness, like 18 pieces of fish. But anyway, guys, that was the Animals Plus mod. This is really just a cool little mod that adds a little bit of realism, a little bit of ambiance to your game. If you guys, you know, enjoy it, just download it. Links in the description below. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this mod showcase, leaving a like is always appreciated. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.